Hello, and welcome to the lab portion of Physics 132 for the fall 2020 semester. I'm Dr. Targerson. This interactive syllabus will guide you through the lab part of the course, allowing you to check your understanding along the way. You have an unlimited number of attempts to get a perfect score on these questions, which you will need to access the first lab. By advancing to the next screen below, you can find the same list of resources as was provided in the lecture syllabus for these trying times. To avoid repetition, however, I will not review them again, but please do not hesitate to avail yourself of these resources if you need them. Just as with the lecture portion of this course, the goal of the lab director, Dr. Bourgeois, the lab TAs, and myself is to help you achieve your definition of success. We hope that you learn some new ways to think critically about data that are important for all citizens in this era, where so many of the challenges we face from COVID-19 to climate change are scientific in nature. If you are going into a scientific or medical career, you will probably use some of these skills almost every day of your professional life. Maybe you have seen some of these ideas in other theory-based courses like statistics, in which case, in this lab, you will get to see them in action. While the lab portion of this course has different challenges and demands, our commitment to an inclusive learning environment in lab is just as central as it is in lecture. If there are aspects of the course that are preventing you from learning or making you feel excluded, please let the lab director, Dr. Bourgeois, know as soon as possible. We'll happily work with you to address your concerns. Finally, I wanna be forthright and say that this is our first time teaching this lab completely online with this many students. We learned a lot from trying to run the labs remotely over the summer, but there will undoubtedly be hiccups along the way. Please be patient and know that fairness and equity are our guiding principles as we overcome these challenges together. If you have any feedback, please read out, reach out to your lab TA or Dr. Bourgeois. 